Welcome, welcome. Well, with that new Buzz Lightyear movie coming out soon, I figured I'd review one that Disney has made years ago. What? Yes, believe it or not, they have made a Buzz Lightyear movie before, and we're about to talk about it. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins, is a 2000 American animated direct-to-video film which originally served as a spin-off of the Toy Story franchise, but was later released on August 8, 2000. The film later led to a TV series called Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, which aired on UPN and ABC from October 2000 to January of 2001. So with all of that out of the way, let's check out the film. The film surprisingly begins in Andy's room with all the Toy Story characters, all done by Pixar, of course. And it looks like they're getting the movie itself. The fuck? So yeah, there's an explanation to that. So remember when in Toy Story 2, it showed us where the Woody doll came from? This movie does the same thing with Buzz Lightyear. It's the new action-packed Buzz Lightyear movie! A Buzz Lightyear movie. Heh, what do you know? You don't look so fat when they draw you that way. Fun fact, Woody here is voiced by Jim Hanks, Tom Hanks' younger brother. That's right, Tom Hanks has a younger brother. And Jim here voices Woody in the video games, merchandise, attractions, and commercials. Don't believe me? Just listen. Ha <laughs> ha! Boy, am I glad to see you! Is that you? No, it's my brother Jim. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the toys begin the movie for us, and we meet Buzz Lightyear, voiced by Tim Allen, reprising his role. Surprisingly enough, in the TV version, he is voiced by Patrick Warburton. To infinity and beyond! Anyways, Buzz informs us about his current mission. Alpha mission objective, locate LGMs ASAP. We'll find and rescue these little green men, even if we must go to infinity and beyond. Already, this movie has got me hooked. Anyways, we see the man himself as he is on an uncharted moon with his partner, Warp Dark Matter, voiced by Dietrich Batter, aka Rex from Napoleon Dynamite. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! They both drive around the rover when they find some stowaways. And apparently, they are not the missing trio they are looking for, but the LGMs here do sense the missing ones through their mind link, which is why they speak in unison. And they sense evil, which Buzz concludes that this plot is the work of his arch nemesis, the evil Emperor Zerg. What plot? You think Zerg is behind every kitten stuck up a tree? The fiend. Why can't he leave kitty cats out of his nefarious schemes? <laughs> now that's funny! Anyways, Buzz and Warp are attacked by Crater Vipers, attached to some Cyclops looking motherfucker, and we get some action. Looks like Rex is right about this being action pack. Then both Buzz and Warp defeat the monster and discover Zerg's hidden fortress. And here the missing LGMs are being tortured and some of Zerg's brain jar minions are asked by this bug here if there's anything to report on and these jarheads say no. Oh, he's not gonna like this at all. And Zerg finally enters and tortures them himself. Oh! <laughs> we are one. Oh! We will never talk. Do your work. My plan exactly. By the way, Zerg is voiced by Wayne Knight. Yup, the same guy who was in Jurassic Park and Space Jam. Well, that was the most unexpected thing I've discovered today. See, nobody cares. Anyways, back to the movie. Buzz and Warp break in, and we get more exposition on the LGMs. The Unimind. Unimind? The mystical orb that links all of LGM kind. It's on their home world. Of course, that's need to know classified. I'm your partner. I need to know. Now you do. Anything else I should know? No, I'd say you're up to speed. Okay, thank you. Then they confront Zerg, and a battle breaks out with Zerg's Hornet drones, while Zerg escapes and starts the self-destruct sequence. The LGMs are rescued, but during the battle, Warp is pinned under the wreckage, and Buzz tries to free him. Get out of here! No! Go! We're 
partners. I'll just I said go. Oh. Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. After Morning Warp's death, Buzz refuses to take another partner from now on. On this day I vow, no ranger will ever again fall in harm's way because of me. I work alone. Despite this, his commanding officer, Commander Nebula, shows Buzz some rookies, one of whom is Princess Maranova, voiced by Nicole Sullivan. She has the power to make herself intangible and invulnerable. How did she do that? She's from the planet Tangia. Of course, Tangian ghosting powers, excellent. Then Buzz's smile turns upside down when Nebula tells him that she is his new partner and Buzz refuses as he doesn't want to expose any more people to danger. Noted, but Buzz, there's one thing you should know. Yes, sir? You are not going out there without backup! I'm sorry, Commander, but from now on, Buzz Lightyear flies solo. Whoa, chill out, Buzz. You're not Batman. We're trying to help you. I don't need help. Not my diagnosis. Then we meet the janitor Booster, an aspiring space ranger who Buzz rescues from being fired. You know, you're really not authorized to be in here, son. Oh, I know. But I like to look at the star cruisers. I just want to be a space ranger so bad, Buzz. Now, don't you worry. You'll pass the entrance exam. Well, at least he's not rejecting everybody. Just don't sign up to be his partner. Then we are at Zerg's fortress, where his workers create a new second-in-command and henchman. I shall call you Agent Z! That's stupid. Yeah, I hate it when my henchmen say the same thing. Isn't that right, Dark Annihilator? I still hate the name. You fucking asshole! Anyway, Zerg sends a spy drone to locate the Unimine on the LGM world. One question, how the fuck did they not notice the drone? I guess they are too distracted by another thing from the Toy Story. Now that Zerg knows its location, he orders an assault to capture it. Excellent! A chance to use this. Woohoo! Meanwhile, at Star Command, the LGMs there have built a robot partner for Buzz called XR, voiced by Larry Miller. Kinda short, isn't he? Hmm, do you think so? <laughs> and what makes XR special is that he can be rebuilt from any damage, and thanks to artificial intelligence, he can learn from Buzz himself. Then the LGMs discover their planet has been invaded by Zerg, and both Buzz and XR are on their way. Then Agent Z and the Hornets find the Unimine, but luckily Buzz and XR arrive to save the day. They are then confronted by Agent Z, whom they pursue in flight. Then Agent Z shoots a bomb at XR, and he is destroyed. Moreover, the Unimine is stolen, and we learn that the LGMs can no longer think clearly. What is, uh, this thing? Uh, an arm? Told ya. Now they're a bunch of dumb fucks. Meanwhile, at Planet Z, we learn that Zerg wants the Unimine so that he can use it to control the minds of others. You're telling me my plan. I already know my plan. I made up the plan. It's my plan. What I don't know is how close you are to accomplishing my plan! Oh, yeah, uh, kind of an outdoor voice there. <laughs> So Zerg wants to turn the Unimine to evil, but these jarheads don't know how. So he does it himself. Want something turn evil? Turn it evil yourself. Just like how my old man used to say. Want anything done right, you gotta do it yourself. Well, we're bones. Back at Star Command, Commander Nebula decides to launch a full-scale assault on Planet C, while the rebuilt XR suggests a timeshare. Commander Nebula refuses, and the LGM leave XR with Booster. Mira says that a solo ranger could go to stop Zerg with a prototype ship called Alpha-1. Commander Nebula dismisses the plan and decides just to launch the full-scale invasion. Meanwhile, at Zerg's fortress, his minions 
began constructing a mega ray that will use the corrupt Mutamine to bend entire populations of people to Zerg's will. Did you make sure that the plus end went to the plus part and the minus end went to the minus part? Oh, that would do it, huh? Oh. Back at Star Command, Mira and Buzz each attempt to steal the Alpha One prototype, but Mira gets the upper hand by using her powers of psychokinesis and leaves with the ship. Meanwhile, XR gives Booster a VIP tour at Buzz's spacecraft. Wait, is he reading Victoria's Circuits? Uh, bet that went through a lot of kids' heads. Then Buzz is sent to pursue Mira in his own aircraft, not realizing that Booster and XR are inside. Meanwhile, Zerk's Mega Ray is ready and they find their target. Hmm. May I suggest Rhizome, my evil emperor? The planet of the vegetarians, yes! Delicious suggestion! If it's populated by her, go ahead. And it works on this planet and another. Eventually, Buzz catches Mira and stores the Alpha One in his cargo bay, and he also discovers Booster and XR. Then Zerg turns his Mega Ray on Star Command, and Buzz, Mira, Booster, and XR witness the Mega Ray's beam strike Star Command. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. I don't like this. Very bad feeling about this. The crew enters Star Command only to discover the beam's effects. Right here! How good of you to join us! Zerg? In the manner of speaking, soon the entire Galactic Alliance will be under my control! Oh my god. They escape from the base in Buzz's Star Cruiser and are pursued by Star Command's entire arsenal. Then Mira finds a bomb on the cruiser. The crew uses the Alpha One to escape, just as Buzz's spacecraft explodes. When they reach Zerg's planet, Booster accidentally sits on the water landing button and narrowly escapes the drones. Once they land there, Buzz insists on finishing the mission alone, but his team starts arguing how it's against the rules. He's right, big guy. Subsection Delta's the dress code. Incidentally, why can't we have nose rings? Because nose rings are for punks, little mister. Okay, boomer. Anyways, Buzz orders his team to leave, and Buzz starts blasting. Then he fights Agent C and arrests him. Like I was saying, you're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on, buddy. That's no way to treat your partner. When Buzz wakes up, Warp tells Buzz that he has been working for Zerg for years as a double agent, and Zerg straight up mocks Buzz by playing a video of Buzz's eulogy for Warp. I miss him very much. Oh, one more time! I miss him very much. <laughs> miss him now! <laughs> In addition, Zerg has a plan for Buzz. I'm going to take the galaxy's greatest hero! and turn him into me. Oh, no! Then Buzz responds by dictating his final mission log as a coded plea for help, and his team returned to Planet Z to help him. They arrive just in time to rescue him just as the Mega Ray fires. Moreover, both Booster and Mira defeat Agent Z. <laughs> Your puny Star Command laser is pathetic! Let me show you a real weapon! Well, I found something me and Zerg have in common. We prefer high-caliber weapons. Then Buzz and Zerg face each other, and Buzz's team surrounds Zerg and pronounce him under arrest. But Zerg manages to escape and gives us a villain monologue. I have enslaved every free world in the Galactic Alliance! Wherever you go in the universe, you will hear my voice mocking you! Evil rules! <laughs> <laughs> Then both Booster and XR capture Orp, and Buzz tries to fix the Unimind by touching it, hoping to return it to normal, but it stays evil because Zerg has rotten it to the core. Then let's get you to the core! You're gonna ghost me? Uh, yeah! Buzz! 
Surprisingly, it works by restoring the Munamai to normal and freeing the galaxy from Zurich's influence. No! My plan! My galaxy! <laughs> you must like you! Also, the unity of the LGMs is restored and Warp is arrested. The film ends when Buzz, having at last admitted that he cannot work alone, and Commander Nebula handing out medals, and the team becoming Team Lightyear. Oh, infinity. And <laughs> oh, and we also get a song called To Infinity and Beyond, sung by Captain Kirk himself, William Shatner. There is a place, is a place. In, outer space, in outer space where you can join in the fun, in the fun. to infinity and beyond. and beyond. And that was Buzz Lightyear of Star Command The Adventure Begins. The film received mixed reviews, and I cannot find any info if it was a commercial success, but I guess the show is proof that it did. Also, this movie isn't available on Disney Plus or any streaming service, but you can find it free on YouTube. Hey, that's what I did. Anyways, I enjoyed this film very much. As Rex stated earlier, it is very action-packed and the comedy is great too with a lot of self-aware humor and jokes. It has a very Saturday morning cartoon cheese to it, which I don't mind. The characters are great as well, as the chemistry between Buzz and his team work well together. And Zerg is pretty amazing as an over-the-top villain. So long story short, this film was a very good, very direct-to-video Disney movie, especially with the animation and writing. So I say go check it out, it's worth it if you're looking for a space adventure. I give it 5 out of 5 Unimines. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. Goosebumps have goosebumps! <laughs> I'm a bad boy! <laughs>